You just recovered some goodies. When you get back, I'll have them analyzed by the super calculator, and you'll be able to check the results from the schoolyard. Huh. They're not like extras, like just introducing you to extras right there. So they're not necessary to complete the game, but I'm going for a 100% playthrough. I mean, this game is quite short, so... Also, I don't think you're able to... Oh no, this is where it's supposed to go. There is a bit more Lego point over here. Also, stupid thing, if you fall off the edge, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't tell you that you died, you just literally pop back up. And like, you have no indication that you died. Which is kind of, eh. But hey, you're not supposed to be jumping off the edge of the freaking digital sea right there, so... I mean, they got majority of everything right here, I mean... They got how Sector 5 looks, and how it operates, and like... You know, normally, you when you hear officially licensed game, you always think of awful games. These creepers shouldn't be a problem. They don't have any armor. No, the game isn't actually awful. Which is cool. Because like, I need to have charged attacks. So, Odd is ideal for Crab because he's naturally fast and can dodge quite fast as well. Yumi is for lots of enemies because she's able to attack multiple enemies at once. And Ulrich is good for close combat, because she doesn't have armor. And Aelita is gonna go to fight if you don't want to deal with shit because she has a much of a higher attack. Which is funny because you'd think that Aelita wouldn't be a big attacker. Also, I see that down there, but I can't look at it properly because again, there are no camera controls. So... But that's secret. I think this kind of camera scheme was a staple for Crap back in the day. Like, whenever, like, sure, whenever you think of a tie-in game or a special license game for a TV show, you think awful. This game is actually quite good. It gets some stuff correct more than most. But then you have the whole staple of you cannot control the camera. Like, or if I want to look behind me, I can't. I literally, there's no controls. But I could like, hold down C, cause there is a C button. Cause there's a freaking C button on the nunchuck. I can hold down C, push me into like a, a first person mode. And then I can look around, but I can't. See, I'm at, at the mercy of the game. Cause like, People who are new here, like, you can actually run off the edge because it switches your controls as well. And actually, when I first played this game, that is exactly what happened. I ran off the edge of the, of the world because I was trying to move forward, but then a sudden perspective shift just made me run off the edge. Also, ignore the fact that that had no sound effects. Um, due to the emulator, there might be I some glitches here. I need more data to clear this obstacle. Careful not to fall here. Yeah, yeah, the digital sea. We know all about it. No, this hole doesn't lead to the digital sea. It's just empty. So if you fall into it, you'll wander forever in the digital void. Wow, freaky. Now that is something that is, you know, that would have been a cool thing, like a cool obstacle for this game. But it was only brought up in Sector 5 for this one level, and it wasn't even part of the show. 
That would have been cool if they made that a new obstacle or something. Anyways, say hello to the skip blood there. Even though this is actually a heavily bit version of how they named it and stuff. Right. With the new data, I was able to put the finishing touches on the ship. Right. Now we just have to christen it. Oh, okay. What about the USS Meatball? <laughs> Whatever. What do you know about it anyway? When I was little, my dad told me tales about a magic drag car that sailed the seas and never lost its way. It was called the Skid Vladimir. Yeah, that sounds good. What do you think? Skid! Yeah, sounds cool. And it's easier to say. Cool. Get ready then. I'm sending you to the Skid. We'll finally be able to try it out. Yeah, that was a painfully abridged version of that because there was supposed to be a whole debacle in the real world. And it was supposed to be part of the orphanage. Her Hermitage? Orphanage? I don't remember what it was called. Basically, I leave this child for the home with her father. So it's not really so many orphanage then, but um. It was supposed to be a book. Um, actually, full steam ahead. 65 itself is called Carthage, I think. Yeah, Sector 5 itself was called Carthage, and the way to get to it was type in the code Scipio. So yeah. Also, this crap is amazing. Careful, looks like you have company. Ailita, release the nav skids. Release. You know, I absolutely love. I absolutely love this little thing. You can control your nav skids in a hurry if you want to get rid of the monsters. Don't panic. It's not rocket science. You'll see. Like I really like how. The digital thing looks like it's like nice and blue and has that nice stuff. I just wish it didn't break apart into the data into a million pieces. Because the digital sea, or actually not ocean, is supposed to represent the entirety of the internet. Not health. You couldn't get okay, rid of the uh, thing. No <clears throat> monsters on the horizon. I thought you couldn't get rid of the attack, so I was like, eh, how do I dodge this? You, you recover last it. What is it, Jeremy? Another sector? Only one way to find out. It's not a sector, it's Carter Replica. Also, the theme for the digital ocean will leave us. The theme is so good. Like on Lyoko. Come on, get going! We have to find a tower to recover the information for this new sector. Also, I have no idea what that what these are supposed to be. Because I get it. They're supposed to be like husks of like um dead dinosaur creatures that makes no sense like if dinosaur creatures get to start to, to, to go boom they don't leave, they don't leave a body Okay, 
it, but I can't spam it. Good. And up here is a crab. Speed run! Okay, that was an awful. That was, awful, that was a bad thing to do because I could have just died and I had to do everything again. And I have to go all the way back up here anyway, so. Looks so nice, even even at this low resolution. The one fall. One fell. Stupid tanker lot. And that's what they're called, tanker lot. Um, actually, I think there is a game over screen. I don't remember what it is though. Like, you don't lose any health from jumping from... You don't lose any health from jumping off the edge of the zone, so... And actually, you, at some point, you do get translated. Which means that you, like, as, like, you appear in the real world. Also, I can't do that if it's be you, me, and have to use a different skill. Alright, near the end of the game. Okay, the teleporter! You can use it to materialize in another zone on this level. Cool! Just like in the show with the guy with the pointy ears! I don't remember what, what breakfast that is. Very nice. Your life points gauge has just shot up. Now you're even more resistant. Yeah, so you can also get like life up, which makes no sense because. Well, I don't get why you require life up because if you don't like be an idiot and not dodge, then you won't lose any health. Or if you dodge directly into an enemy, that that you do as well. Well, okay then. That was I don't think I'm from him. Also, those power wells, they're supposed to be for later, um, so, they don't do anything, but you're supposed to, like, revive your, um, like, your amazing skills, or whatever they're called. <laughs> There's the power. Uh-oh. I'm picking up a rapidly moving object coming towards you. William. Wait, it's William. Be careful. William? Up there. It's him. My name is a joke, by the way. He's a frickin' joke. Never mind. I have to really force down on it for it to work, Jesus. Like, William is really 
only hit a bar. Well, he is if he's about the edge like that. Jesus Christ. It's your turn. from like blank buttons so were you able to analyze the coordinates that we sent you i've just launched the search on the super calculator no need to thank us piece of cake sorry got carried away thanks guys you made it work xana has pulled out all the stops to defend this new territory yeah i know i hope that with the information you got we'll find out why also that little cinematic right there that is random Hi, everybody. Nice day. I'm getting hotter under these clothes. Yeah, clever conversation, William. Now I can see what Mr. Delmos was talking about. Seems like this clone of William is a bit... Stupid? Jeremy's going to have to rework his code. Ah, oh, Mr. Dunbar. How's it going? Catching up on old friends? I'm delighted to have you back with us. Come on. My friends aren't that old. Yes, of course. That's not William's voice, by the way. You can clearly tell. Like, what is it? William doesn't come back until very near the end of season four. This, I think, only goes up to something before that. So he doesn't really come back. So that is the fake William that you hear. Trust me, though, the real William's voice is actually here, I'm pretty sure. If he does, he's not coming back. I don't remember. Got it. I've got new info on those mysterious zones that we discovered. Let's have it. I found out that these new territories were created by Xana and are copies of Lyoko. And here I thought Odd was the only copycat. It's not funny. And who are you to talk? Stop it, you two. I've called these zones replicas. Okay. Ailita and I studied them together, but we still don't know what they're for. However, we've developed a new program, the Chimera Code, which should be able to destroy them. That is... In theory. In theory? Yeah. All we need to do is find the main tower for each replica. Okay. Then we implement the Chimera code in it, and that's <laughs> it. Uh, in theory? Yes, in theory. Okay, let's turn this theory into practice. For now, we've found two replicas. Okay. There are probably others. I'll take care of finding them. What about us? You? Either you go back to the desert replica okay. to find the main tower, or you go ahead and explore the second replica. Okay. I'm sorry if that was a bit annoying, but in the actual show, replica is spelled with a K. No, well, it's R E T L I K A in the actual show, because that was actually, um, I think that was a, I, that was actually intentional, because that was the name of one of the episodes, or that was a mistake carried over from the French version, which where that I spelled with K. I know, upgrades, ooh. Uh, 
At the end of the game, you should be able to upgrade literally everyone. Oh my god, like, why? What the crap? I don't have that much points. Scanner on. Scanner Ulrich. Scanner Yumi. Scanner Ailita. Virtualization. Everything okay? Yes, we're all here. Good. We have to find the tower that has the data that will let us locate the main desert replica tower. Hurry up! Hi. Um. Hi. Fine, I'll, I'll drop the axe. Yeah, so I am actually a uh, glitchy idol. Yeah. Look, I just thought it would be a good day for me to play for a minute. Cody, I'll go. you create digital clones to fight three against one. You'll need energy points to use this program. There's an energy well close by where you can fill up. Go ahead. I like the animation as well because they look very nice. Ulrich, you should be able to use the triplicate to destroy this rock. I'll try. Yeah, okay. For that is a sea stick right there. Huh? Not really a stick really, it's more like a sea stick. 
see something. Camera change. I wish I had camera control, but I don't. What can't be me virtualizing? Found. Pass me around through the sound. It's your turn. Can I do this? No, I can't. Okay, so... Only some games are able to move the camera around, I think. 